know that AAP Menor is now actively involved in collecting our own data through the registry. Um, can, what does the registry do and why should Academy members encourage their institutions to participate? Another great question. So um, recognizing that, you know, not all physiatrists are researchers, we all can contribute to the body of evidence that provides evidence of the value that physiatrists bring to healthcare in general. Uh, and we can do this through ensuring that PMNR data, our data, um, is captured by the AAPMNR registry. So, you know, the Academy launched uh, the registry several years ago, and uh, we've been collecting data on low back pain and ischemic stroke. We picked those two diagnostic groups to start off with because so many of our patients fall into that. There is a plan to expand that in the future, but this is what we started off with. Um, and at this point, it's the only symptom versus diagnostic-based registry that's in existence that allows physiatrists to capture their specific impact on patient care and outcomes. Um, the world of registries is probably moving toward patient reported outcomes, but we're the first to lead the way. Um, and it's really important given the type of work that we do. So the Academy's registry is gonna provide data that's actionable to physiatrists uh, in their own journey to improve the lives of their patients. Uh, the success of the registry uh, will come down to harnessing uh, traditional data from ele electronic uh, medical records, um, as well as these patient-reported outcomes. I will say that uh, many large PMR departments, including my own at Rusk Rehabilitation, uh, participate in the registry. Uh, my own faculty and I uh, recognize the importance of big data uh, for the future of physiatry, and we work with our uh, IT team uh, in the Academy to link our system with the registry. Now we feel that you know the, the Rust data is contributing to important overall national data uh, while gauging our own value within and outside of our system. You know, what are we doing um, that's really great? What are we doing that maybe isn't, you know, up to par with what other systems are doing? And we can adjust accordingly. So it's really a way of improving our own um, uh, quality at Rust. To date, uh, the registry has collected data on more than 5,000 patients, and there are more PM&R practices, uh, both bigger systems as well as uh, smaller practices that are uh, poised to join the effort. So we're really very excited about that. So if for anybody listening, I definitely encourage you to join Rusk Rehabilitation and these other leading PM&R departments in joining the registry. And, and it's so important for our field to realize, uh, to help us realize that PM&R bold vision that shows that physiatrists are essential, vital um, in, in, in reaching that triple aim of medicine. You can't do it without that. And the registered data is gonna really help us get there. Um, so, you know, I think the data that's collected is also going to help guide future care by better understanding the relative effectiveness and interventions of what we do. And there's going to be immense value um, to help us develop guidance statements, uh, furthering uh, the positive impact of PM&R. If you are interested, if anybody's listening, I encourage you to visit aapmr.org slash registry to learn more. Um, it requires a champion on your side, but the Academy will walk you through every step of the way uh, to help you become part of it. And I can tell you, it's really exciting. And I'm delighted that Rusk and many other uh, large departments are joining that effort. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing the way for people to get more involved if they're interested.